In this video, I'm going to explain important fascial connection in front of chest. The fascia is located here, this area, anterior part of chest. This fascia is called clavipectoral fascia. Clavipectoral fascia because it attaches to clavicle and chest area. This is deep to pec major. It is deep to pectoralis major. If you dissect pec major, you see clavipectoral fascia. This fascia covers pec minor, anterior part of chest, and it goes to up. And this way. So, when this fascia gets tight, what's gonna happen? Maybe that inhibits movement of pec major. Why? Because this fascia is deep to pec major. And this fascia can inhibit movement of scapula. Why? Because this fascia covers pec minor. Pec minor is very important for movement of scapula. Does it make sense? This fascia is not only for uh, movement of scapula and chest. This fascia is important for fascial connection. I will explain more about this. Again, clavipectoral fascia attaches to clavicle and anterior part of chest, like this. Then, this fascia goes up. Then, it fuses to fascia of subclavius 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 is very tiny muscle however this is important for fascial connection clavipectoral fascia to fascia of subclavius now this fascial connection goes to posterior to clavicle like this Imagine there's fascial connection, connection, connection to posterior part of clavicle. Now, this connection goes up to anterior part of neck. This connection goes all the way up to hyoid. Hyoid bone in front of throat. What's gonna happen if clavipectoral fascia gets tight? This fascial connection, this tightness can go up to, all the way up to hyoid bone. That means anterior part of neck. Vice versa, if anterior part of neck muscle, neck fascia gets tight, that can affect clavipectoral fascia. This tightness can go down to up or up to down. Makes sense, right? Then let me talk about the fascial connection to shoulder. Clavipectoral fascia goes to fascia of axilla. Axilla is armpit. Clavipectoral fascia to fascia of armpit. Then this fascia continues to fascia of arm. So when clavipectoral fascia gets tight, that can go to axilla then humerus so clavipectoral fascia is very important station for fascial connection for upper limb neck chest armpit then humerus i cannot emphasize enough tightness of clavipectoral fascia affect a lot for scapular movement shoulder movement breathing because this covers rib cage and it affects movement of cervical spines because this goes to anterior part of neck this is freaking important fascia if you liked today's video please hit the like button comment and subscribe see you next video